And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. We're coming to you from Prey Houston Restaurant in the Galleria area. And we have the ladies here from Girl Talk. Glad to see you all here. Interesting topic. Are some women hiding their significant others from social media? So I just did a cursory check on all of these ladies' social media pages. Not a man in sight. Oh, yes. They all look sing they all look single. I saw you post it like a story, which is rare for you, Maggie. It is. But there's no like pictures on your front pages. So Karen, why not? Oh my God. Have you ever heard the <laughs> phrase, if I post you, it's not real? Right. The, some girls live by that. So uh -huh. like if they post a man, like that's just their, they're in the friend zone. If, if a girl posts you, you're, you might be in the friend zone. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to break to you. But I'm, I'm kind of actually kind of living that life now. I think I've shared a lot of my personal life on social media over the years, developed my personal brand, shared everything about my business and my company. And sharing my boyfriend doesn't actually contribute anything to my social media. You know, mm -hmm. I know that people are really vested in my life. I have shared that I'm in a relationship. I've been in a relationship, a serious relationship for the last few months. And but what about those who say you just want to look hot and single still? Oh, and keeping no. your options open. You know, I, I think that's not the case at all. I think I just, I'm not dating a public figure. I'm dating, you know, not an average show because, you know, to me, my man's my hero and everything. I know, that's right. But, um, <laughs> you clean know, it up. but he's just not a, a in the limelight like I am. So it actually wouldn't do anything to just share. It would just be to accommodate other people's interests of mm -hmm. what I'm doing in my life. So it's something that I want to keep private for me. Um, I know a lot of people don't share because they're like, oh, what if something goes wrong? What if, you know, he cheats? Your man's going to cheat whether you share him or not, if that's the type of man that you're with. I think the rela my relationship is established on trust. He follows me on social media. His family follows me on social media. You know, we basically live together. So Have they asked you where is he on your social media? All the time. And I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and if you see us in public, we're not afraid to to be seen in public. And I'm not hiding him from pu from the public uh -huh. life. You've met him, but I'm just hiding him from social media because <laughs> we just I want to keep that part of my life a little bit sacred. Right. And That's I think your, yeah. we don't share. Personal we don't have to share everything. <laughs> All right, Maggie, go ahead. Um, so I've kind of been or I've looked through different lenses when it came to this. I've always had the perspective of, you know, if you post your man, then you're giving people something to try to attack or you're giving the devil something to go after. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, some women, they like it when a man is with somebody because then now they're more enticed or more excited to go and try to get him. Or there's the angle of Cardi B, you know, if there's no ring on my finger, you're not going on my gram. <laughs> that was Jasmine's line, sorry. She wanted to say you that. <laughs> you did get robbed, sorry. But, I mean, Cardi said it best. I mean, honestly, and Je you can totally take it back. <laughs> But, you know, and I've seen it through that lens also. If we're not married, I'm not going to, I, I'm, I'm not single, but, you know, I'm not married at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I'm 34. You know, at this point, I'm just like, I'm, I have nothing to hide. Here's my man. Now, you may not know the ins and outs of my relationship mm -hmm. or what we do on a daily basis, but here he is. I'm proud to show him off or I'm proud to show who my man is. But again, as far as the details, ins and outs, problems. Not for the public. It is not. All right, Julia, let's hear from you. Yeah, I, I agree with what she said. I mean, same thing. Even when I was single, um, I didn't post a lot of pictures of us together. Um, I think that also had to do with him. He's a very quiet person and doesn't like everything to be out there. So He's right there behind the camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> By the so, way, she's married to the Isaiah Factor photographer. But go ahead. So, but, I mean... Sorry to all my followers too, because they, they a lot of them think that I'm single. Uh -huh. I get DMs all oh, the time. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're talking about it. No, 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 hold on, because we read the messages together. Okay, okay. So I, okay. Okay. I love it. So okay. hopefully they, they don't stop doing it, because I've talked about even writing a book with just all the messages I get, because they're really crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, you really I mean, I have no issues with showing him. It's just that he doesn't really want to be on there. So. Sure. All right, Jasmine. For me, since Maggie stole my tagline, but I'm going to say it anyway, you know, if ain't no ring on my finger, you ain't going on the gram, right? Uh -huh. um, for me, I've had people... That's a high price to pay for social media, though. So for me, I think, like, I have never, and I'm being honest, 
until a little while ago, posted a man on my social media. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because not that it's anything insecure, anything like that. I just feel like once I'm, I know when I meet my person that this is my person, mm -hmm. and I want to share that, right? right? It's not that I'm hiding. Yeah. It's not the fact that I want people to be like, look at me, I'm single, you know. I just want to have that space for us, mm -hmm. right? And um, once we're, I feel that I meet the person, because I am single, y'all, I'm single now. And, you know, <laughs> um, once I feel like I meet that person and I feel that space where I feel safe, I feel yeah. that he gives me That's this right. space where, you know, and, and, and he loves me freely. I'm a mm -hmm. free person. You have to love me freely, yeah. right? So if I, once I know I met that person, then he's going to be all over the gram like, dang, Jasmine, that's a little too <laughs> much. Right. But ring. until... <laughs> Yeah, the security. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's what is not even like security. It's a fact of feeling safe. I That's think right. a woman, we just want to feel safe. Yeah. I want to feel that, you know, there are people myself and Maggie just being in the social Houston social world right that's what's your story oh she talking to him well, how do we put these dots together mm -hmm. right I don't want everybody all in my business mm -hmm. my business mm -hmm. is my business mm -hmm. and what me and my man do in our business yeah. that's our business you know so for me I don't have a problem with it I just haven't met the person that I just want to expose and sometimes okay. that ring yeah. means yeah. nothing and you yeah. get well, that ring and they're still acting single right and, oh. and you find out who the messy ones are when you do post your yes. man yep. and, then and then you they get the, the guys that are yeah. now and they all, and yeah, yeah all the yeah. stories you New interest. Yeah. Yeah. New page is what? following your story. Right. Look at it. Daily. What, like, what's the new thing, right? Yeah. So for me, right. I'm cool with it, you know, but I just haven't met the person yet. All right. Let's Got it. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming on The Fact. Good to see you. We'll see you again next time. And that'll do it for Girl Talk from Prey Houston Restaurant and the Galleria. Always good to see the ladies. And